A casual listen to Thomas Rhett's Country Again may make you wonder if the former ACM Entertainer of the Year had begun to doubt his authenticity amid massive success. However, that's quite the opposite. His latest album is more of a reflection on what he learned during the pandemic. Now, did you know that Rhett grosses a quarter of a million dollars per night on the road? Obviously, the star is worth much more than you think. So, stay tuned as we dig into how Thomas Rhett made and spends his millions. Thomas Rhett is a common name among country music fans. Following that, it didn't come as a shock that fans were excited to see him perform at the 56th Annual Academy of Country Awards in April of this year. Back in 2017, Rhett had won the Male Singer of the Year at the Academy of Country Music Awards. In turn, he received the honor of an adjudicator at the Miss America Expo. In addition to his highly anticipated performance, Rhett got nominated for a whopping four awards this year. Entertainer of the Year, Song of the Year, Music Event of the Year, and Male Artist of the Year. The country music greatest of all time first broke into the country music scene in 2013. With his debut album, It Goes Like This, over the last decade, Rhett has released an additional four albums, Country Again, Side A, 2021, Center Point Road, 2019, Life Changes, 2017, and Tangled Up, 2015. We believe that Thomas Rhett's net worth shouldn't be too much of a shock. So then, thanks to his successful tours, albums, and more, he's estimated to be worth about $5 million. In 2018, Rhett made Forbes' 30 Under 30 list. According to Forbes, the star grossed a quarter of a million dollars per night on the road. We all agree that that isn't too shabby for a singer who joined the country music scene eight years ago. Thomas Rhett's music has gotten featured on numerous popular movie and TV show soundtracks. Some of them are Nashville, The Best of Me, and The Do-Over. He also got featured on specials like The Disney Family Sing-Along, CMA Country Christmas, Dolly Parton, Here She Comes Again, and more. Moreover, Rhett has performed on pretty much every talk show you can imagine, including The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Kelly Clarkson Show, and Good Morning America. Let's look at Thomas Rhett's love life. With a romantic tune like Die a Happy Man being composed just for her, Rhett's wife, Lauren Akins, possibly feels like the luckiest woman alive to be married to the country music singer. The couple has stuck together through many years and has quite a love story. Even though many people are skeptical of the love stories in Hollywood, Rhett and his wife appear to have a timeless romance. Besides being the wife of a famous country singer, there's a lot more to Aikens. She's quite an interesting woman with a heart of gold following her family, career, and the values she holds. The two have known each other for most parts of their lives. In fact, they met while in grade school and became friends. Rhett and Aikens tied the knot in 2012 and have three daughters, Wyla Gray, Ada James, and Lennon Love. Also, Rhett's family will expand in November 2021, as they're expecting their fourth baby girl. As mentioned before, Thomas Rhett's assessed total assets are $5 million. Besides, at this point, his regular compensation isn't covered. Now, how has he made his millions? Primarily, a significant part of his revenue comes from singing. For instance, he has created many hit singles that have topped the country airplay diagram on numerous occasions. Furthermore, Red has sold his hit collections in millions. And on top of that, Red has done supports for brands like Budweiser and Chubby's. In 2015, he showed up at Zaxby's business with country vocalist Brett Eldridge. Let us now look at how Red spends his millions. Red and his lovely wife own a $4.7 million rustic country paradise family enjoys plenty of space and privacy. Additionally, from the look of things, he wants to get away from it all. The home allows them to relax and unwind as much as they would like at the rural weekend retreat outside of Nashville. It features a beautiful barn-themed house that is a fantastic home away from home. Rhett's rural property is located about 30 minutes away from Nashville. It's a spread on about 126 acres and has a large man-made lake. At the edge of the lake sits a cozy guest cottage. However, the property's main feature is a rustic yet luxurious barn home that offers an effortless indoor-outdoor living. Indeed, it is a perfect getaway for every care of the work week. The barn is designed to host dirt bikes, farm equipment, or any kind of entertainment or work vehicle. Also, the property features three to four miles of professionally graded trails accessible on horseback, by automobile, ATV, or on foot. The land also boasts spaces that open to expansive rural views, a horse pasture, a hot tub, and a skeet shooting area. The home floors get acid-washed and stained concrete, and the space contains floor-to-ceiling windows, poplar accents with exposed beams, and more. After that, sliding barn doors leads to a chef's kitchen with two sub-zero refrigerators, a six-burner gas cooktop, and a lot more. 
The master bedroom has his and her vanities, and they both have a private outdoor shower and an indoor shower. In comparison, the open-air loft offers a breathtaking view of the lush surrounding hills. Now onto the guest cottage. It is small, but has a cozy space with a fireplace, a perfectly sized sleeping nook, and a breakfast area. When looking at Rhett and Aiken's house, it's noticeable that the two have an eye for style that is unforgettable. In fact, the house features in the August-September 2021 issue of House Beautiful. The couple created a perfect space for their three kids with the help of interior designer April Tomlin. They said that their grandparents inspired the Nashville home. Red and Aikens also hired Jonathan Tarot of Pfeiffer Tarot Architecture and Austin Rogers of Roger Build to develop a nostalgic family retreat in Nashville. They chose low wattage lighting, romantic patterns, and unpolished brass finishes. The aged brick backsplash evokes a rustic hearth in the kitchen. The palette is a mix of greens, muted taupes, and grays. Moreover, there are plaids and florals in a guest room, and Red's cowboy hat stands as art over a banquet. For the family's large gatherings, two seating areas are present. The seating areas have Cisco home leather sofas, ottomans, pillows, coffee table, a Varellan fabric sofa, and a fireplace surrounding Lee Industries. The home also features a cool overhead canoe. The textures and coloring are designed to take you back somewhere you're trying to remember. The space has a familiar tug-at-the-heartstrings feel, like big checks you would associate with a Saturday at the country. Fine china is carefully placed alongside open shelving in another nook off the house. It was painted a green tone with white wood cabinets and black countertops. The traditional aspects of the house were mixed with modern touches that gave the Tennessee mansion its unique stamp. Red said, there are already stains on the carpet, markers on the walls, fingernail polish spilled on the wood floors. Some time back, Thomas Red bought back his very first truck for more than he had initially paid for. The singer said he couldn't stop thinking about his truck after finding fame and money. So then, that drove him to pay whatever it took to get it back. I actually sold my first truck to my best friend's brother-in-law when I turned 20 years old, and I went and repurchased it from him more than I'd paid for it originally, Rhett said. The star got so thrilled to be reunited with the old set of wheels that he composed a song about it for his new album, Center Point Road. He described that old truck as a love song to his truck, and he's not ashamed about it. A while back, Rhett's daughters were too young to drive, but still became proud owners of a new toy Jeep. Aiken showed off the Christmas present by sharing a video of both kids driving the hot pink car around their property. Rhett and Aikens have great responsibility for raising their three children and a fourth on the way. Rhett said that as he's watching his three daughters grow up, he's also learning from them. The 31-year-old singer has said that the most crucial thing as a parent is simply staying in the present. He finds joy watching each girl's personality develop. All of his kids are different, yet so loving and have unique personalities. So that's how Thomas Rhett made and spends his millions. Please share your views regarding the video in the comments section. And also, like and share our video with family and friends. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload more content. I'm Mickey V, and until next time, goodbye.